Thank you for visiting Litson RV and for the opportunity to unveil for you the all new Winnebago Vista and its twin, the Winnebago Sunstar 33K, the most nimble bath and one half class A gas coach in the RV industry with a full wall slide out and walk around king bed in the master suite and now set atop the Ford powertrain with the advanced technology driver confidence package. This Vista and Sunstar 33K are available here at Litson RV, America's closest dealer to the Winnebago Motorhome Factory. We're located only one mile north of Winnebago, based right here in Forest City, Iowa, and named by the manufacturer Winnebago Industries as the North American top dealer for sales volume across all of the Winnebago dealers in North America for a single point location each year consecutively since 2015. However, most importantly, be the first to break in and protect your Ford powertrain investment in accordance with the way Ford Motor Company outlines inside their owner's manuals in which they recommend, if possible, no towing during the first thousand miles and varying your speeds to seat those cylinders in that 7.3 liter V8 Varying your speeds frequently and changing up through the gears early and not laboring that engine. As opposed to the way a delivery driver may and do tow their own personal vehicle out to your local dealership, be the first to break in and protect that powertrain, sleep that first night in your walk around king bed and eat that first meal in your benchmark dinette, available here at Litson RV. Now equipped with the new Ford F53 chassis with the advanced technology driver confidence package, as well as the latest in all new restyling and re-engineering, the Winnebago Vista and its twin. The Winnebago Sunstar are the shortest, most nimble bath and one half floor plans in the RV industry with user-friendly features and more value than ever before in a nimble length with a bath and one half. The 33K offers plenty of living space and ample storage, whether you're planning a weekend getaway or the adventure of a lifetime. The gas powered Vista and Sunstar is loaded with features and amenities typically reserved for diesel pushers, including full body premium automotive paint with chrome mirrors, Corian countertops, Ultra Fabrics Primera leather furnishings, the Versa swivel driver seat, a swivel passenger seat, front powered MCD solar and blackout roller shades, MCD blackout shades in the coach areas and a large residential refrigerator and freezer. If you prefer a gas coach, but want diesel level amenities at a terrific value, the Vista and Sunstar are built for you. This factory fresh Class A gas coach is now equipped with the new Ford F53 chassis featuring a nimble 50 degree wheel cut and powered by the fuel efficient 7.3 liter Free breathing dual valve V8 engine boasting 468 pounds feet of torque or power. It features 350 horsepower for get up and go or rapid acceleration. And it's mated up with the torque shift, select shift, six speed automatic transmission with tow haul mode and grade braking capabilities. Not only does it feature a 5,000 pound factory installed tow package, this also includes the driver confidence package equipped by Winnebago from Ford Motor Company. It includes advanced technology to enhance your drive, featuring nine new safety enhancements. Intelligent Adaptive Cruise Control. Using advanced radar technology, Intelligent Adaptive Cruise Control lets you set a cruising speed and distance from the vehicle in front of you. When that vehicle slows, you will automatically slow, maintaining that distance and then resume your preset speed and distance when traffic picks back up. Distance Alert plus Distance Indication. The Distance Alert system is designed to help you maintain your distance relative to the vehicle ahead. The system self-adjusts according to the speed and movement of the vehicle ahead and alerts you should you approach too quickly. Lane Keeping Assist. The Lane Keeping System scans lane markings on both sides of your vehicle and will send an audible signal if it senses you're drifting outside of your lane. If it detects repeated lane drifts, the system will display a warning in the message center suggesting you pull over to take a break. Pre-Collision Assist with Active Braking Support Pre-Collision Assist uses camera technology to detect and alert you to a potential collision with a vehicle or pedestrian directly in front of you during day or nighttime driving. 
The system can pre-charge and increase brake assist sensitivity to provide full responsiveness when you brake, and if a collision is imminent, provide active braking support. Electronic Stability Control, or ESC. ESC uses sensors to monitor the speed of each wheel to determine the coach's steering angle and direction. If you have to steer sharply, the system adjusts the speed of each wheel to help counter, under, or oversteer, making your motorhome more stable and easier to control. Traction Control Traction control helps maintain your motorhome's grip on the road in unfavorable weather conditions. When the system detects a loss of traction on one or more wheels, it applies selective braking to individual wheels to prevent excessive wheel spin and help maintain control. Hill Start Assist When stopped on a slope, the system holds the brake for up to three seconds as you move your foot from the brake pedal to the accelerator, then begin driving again. Automatic High Beam Headlamps and Control This system senses poor lighting conditions and switches on the high beams to illuminate the road ahead. It also senses oncoming headlights and dims high beams automatically so you can stay focused without worrying about blinding other drivers. Transmission Range Indicator In manual select shift mode, the transmission range indicator provides a visual reference of the gears that you're currently driving in, can be used in conjunction with tow haul mode and grade braking technology. All of these nine safety enhancements are now part of advanced technology in the driver confidence package ordered by Winnebago Industries from Ford Motor Company. You'll see we've ordered this coach factory fresh in the Cloudburst full body base coat clear coat premium automotive finish, which does then also include the exterior upgrade package to the premium full body automotive paint, including LED front lighting here to the front chrome side mirrors, integrated turn signals, and then also overlays for the fog lamps down below. It also includes that full grille inlay applique with the machined aluminum front grille. Down below here, you'll see the sensor for intelligent adaptive cruise control. The front then is covered in a invisible clear protective front mask. The largest panoramic one-piece windshield in the RV industry is also set in with Winnebago's patented superstructure, legendary super steel, steel structure, in which all of the seats and safety bolts are bolted to the seal. The windshield is mounted with an automotive style urethane for added durability, strength, and safety. We'll work our way here towards the driver's side. You'll see the first portion of the full wall slide out a beautiful exterior in this cloudburst. The beauty of this is it's easier to cool because it is in a lighter pewter and silver package, but it's also easier to clean. Working our way up front here towards the driver's side, you'll see the chrome side mirrors that are part of the exterior upgrade package that this coach has. Working our way inside the first chrome side mirror, you'll see the top two thirds of which are powered and heated, the lower one third, including that convex parabolic wide angle technology. Then down below, you'll see the first of various side video camera monitoring systems, which are articulated and controlled by the turn signal column or by dedicated input. So a total of three different security cameras. This coach is on the upgraded 22,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating chassis from Ford Motor Company, which then also provides down below 22 and a half inch stylized aluminum wheels. With the upgraded gross vehicle weight rating, the occupant and cargo carrying capacity to this 33K is 4,201 pounds, from which then you would deduct your occupants, any fresh water that you may travel with, and all of your cargo. The solid foundation down below of computerized automatic hydraulic leveling jacks, You'll see various portions here of exposed bare metal. For over 30 years, Winnebago has led the industry in rust protection with the Eco process. Recently undergoing a multi-million dollar infrastructure upgrade to the metal working facility alone. During the Eco process, critical steel structural components are processed 
through a multi-stage full immersion electro coating system. This 10 stage process ensures a uniform plating to all exposed bare metal. Inside this compartment, you'll see the hydraulic leveling pump and also the 76 pound LP capacity, approximately 18 gallons. You'll see the automotive breakers here for the front cab area with pass-through storage, the 33K including 121 cubic feet of basement and exterior storage. You can see the radius doors being cut out of that same Asdell composite sidewall. Asdell composite sidewalls provide many benefits over typical Luon plywood that is still used by some competing RV manufacturers. It's half the weight, leading to increased cargo carrying capacity and fuel efficiency. It's not affected by freezing and warming cycles, so no delamination will occur when used to specifications. It's built without formaldehyde, toxic chemicals, or materials and provides double the insulation value. No DF deforestation occurs during its production and also provides a much better sound barrier. Here inside your utility compartment, of course, with the seamless one-piece rotocast luggage compartment and holding tanks, the coach features 99 gallons of freshwater capacity, 75 gallons in the black tank, and 102 gallon capacity in the gray tank. Using the largest three and a half inch PVC in the RV industry, it provides a quicker, more sanitary drainage of those tanks. The rear duals here, including the 22 and a half inch stylized aluminum wheels. This does have the upgraded cooling package with this, the 50 amp electrical service. Also above here is also where you'll see the black waste tank flush. So after draining your 75 gallon black tank, you can actually irrigate out that black tank using a non-potable water hose and then complete the drainage to clean out your sewer hose with the 102 gallons of gray tank capacity. Down below here, you'll see the automatic transfer switch, which will automatically divert electricity from shoreline power to the generator when the generator is turned on. It provides a great backup source of power in the event that the resort or campground loses electricity but you also don't have to then plug it back in when you're in transit or dry camping, boondocking, wanting to use generator only. Here you'll see a fresh water tank drain for draining the 99 gallons of total fresh water capacity to the 33K. Right here, a fuel fill for the 80 gallon fuel capacity to the Ford powertrain. And then the second utility compartment just behind this fuel fill location some great enhancements here for user-friendly conveniences, including an innovative freshwater diverter valve. So when you do connect to city water or resort water and you're getting ready to disembark to head home or head out, you can actually just throw that valve and it will divert the water from that hookup directly into the 99 gallons of total freshwater capacity. Of course, all of this flows through a whole house sediment filtration system off to the left. Just behind there is where you'll also see the 12 volt on-demand water pump and a nice sneak preview to the PEX plumbing system using PEX residential quality tubing and all water supply systems with quick disconnect and compression connectors at key locations, ensuring sturdy leak proof connections. Also using a single manifold to reduce connections, increase PSI or water pressure and reducing leaks up to 75%. You'll also see your winterization kit with siphon hose off to the left. There you'll see the freshwater inlet that we talked about earlier. With the innovative freshwater diverter valve just above the hot and cold water controls for the exterior wash station, here you'll see a quick port for expanding rooftop solar capabilities that will cover as we jump up atop the one piece seamless fiberglass roof. And then also for the second black tank, another black tank flush. Because this is a bath and one half floor plan, you'll see two different black tanks that provide one easy drainage outlet, but two different locations to flush out. There you'll see the gray and black waste tank drains for the second bath discharge area.
You can see the continuous usage of those PEX plumbing fittings. For sturdy leak-proof connections. Of course, this luggage compartment, which houses the water utility area, as well as the fresh water gray and black tanks are manufactured in-house by Winnebago Industries with polyethylene components with a seamless one-piece rotocast tank, starting with a polyethylene powder and placing it in an enclosed mold. The material is then heated to a liquid while rotating within the mold. And as that liquid cools, it coats the inner tool and forms a single one-piece rotocast tank. Once finally cooled, the tank then goes through a pressure test. And finally, each of those fittings are spin welded using connections to spin weld as opposed to using a compression fitting like other manufacturers continue to use in their applications. Towards the driver's side here, as we zoom back out, you'll see the exhausting for the six gallon LP fired water heater with electronic spark ignition, as well as the frameless tinted windows. To the rear, a beautiful one-piece fiberglass end cap with rear ladder that will bring you up to Winnebago's patented one-piece interlapped and interlocked fiberglass roof. Located just above the rear mid high mount brake lamp is where you'll see the rear view camera monitoring system, which ties in nicely to the front infotainment radio and can also be used in transit at higher speeds. Ties in nicely with the side video camera monitoring system. Again, the rear end cap, then the latest with Asdell onboard composite sidewalls versus typical Luon plywood still being used by other competing RV manufacturers. Down below then a 5,000 pound factory installed tow package with the bargeman wiring harness. Of course, even this is manufactured with the latest in e-coat technology, the same type of e-coat technology being used by quality light duty automotive manufacturers such as General Motors, Honda, and Acura. You can see the rear stabilizer bar as well as the rear computerized automatic hydraulic levelers. And now, unlike any dealership in North America, we're going to elevate up to show you all of the quality components and cover specifications atop the roof of this Winnebago Vista and its twin, the Sunstar 33K. This is a one-piece interlapped and interlocked fiberglass roof that comes backed with a 10-year parts and labor warranty. This fiberglass roof is crowned one piece. It features true laminate block foam for insulation, providing a solid foundation compared to competing manufacturers that are using a rubber roof over wooden trusses with bat stuffing that you may see in your attic. This is a pure laminate block foam roof providing a sturdy structure that can be walked upon, but also provides great R-value insulation and sound barriers. Working our way from the rear to the front, you'll see a max air vent for the rear master full bathroom, the oversized 36 by 36 inch shower with skylight. Forward of that, you'll see the factory installed upgrade of the solar package. This includes a single 115 watt panel and a 30 amp charge controller within the solar charge controller. Each of the 13.5 BTU high efficiency ducted air conditioning system units, which is tied into the upgraded cooling package that then includes the upgraded 5,500 watt Cummins Onan micro quiet generator that sips fuel off of the top three quarters of the 80 gallon fuel capacity. You'll see additional vents for the exhaust for the kitchen or galley area, and then also for the half bath. Forward of that, you'll see the wine guard Air 360 Plus that includes your local off-air high-definition antenna, but also includes the Wi-Fi router and signal booster to tie into the Winnebago Connected Coach. We'll cover that in detail as we get inside, but can also provide a complete 24-7 Wi-Fi booster or dedicated 24-7 internet network off of your current cellular provider using an unlimited data plan, for example, from Verizon, AT&T. We'll cover that in detail as we get inside. Also up front there is the cup antenna for Sirius XM satellite radio, which is a factory installed upgrade that is on this 33K. We'll also cover that as we get in and cover the infotainment package. 
Of course, we can provide any type of connectivity enhancement. If you would like stronger or more reliable internet, such as Starlink satellite internet, or even cellular connectivity boosting with a WeBoost for 5G upgraded cellular boosting. The Winnebago Vista and Sunstar 33K is 34 feet 3 inches long. It is a wide body at 8.5 feet and 12 feet 4 inches tall to the most standard feature atop the roof. And now as we work our way back down towards ground level, we'll cover all of the quality components along the patio side of the Vista and Sunstar 33K. We reference the Sunstar because we are a full-line dealership for Winnebago Industries, so we can provide that unbiased opinion. The Vista and Sunstar are identical all the way down to features, quality, content, price, and colors. We being a full-line dealership, we can provide you that unbiased opinion. Working our way down towards the patio side, towards the aft or rear side, you'll see access for the Cummins Onan 5500 watt micro quiet gasoline generator that sips fuel off of the top three quarters of the 80 gallon fuel capacity. Again, each of these compartment doors are radius cut out of the same sidewall being used. Forward then of the Cummins Onan 5500 watt marquee gold micro quiet gasoline generator you'll find additional storage as we wrap up the balance of 121 cubic feet of basement and exterior storage of course throughout the rv we use led lighting which is 70 percent more energy efficient compared to normal incandescent or halogen lighting which minimizes draw on the dual deep cycle rv batteries sized in a group 31 providing 12 volt power to the coach recharged when in transit, being plugged in when running your generator or off of the factory installed upgrade of the solar package. Forward of the dual rear wheels, then you'll also see the exterior entertainment center. We'll cover that in detail here in a moment, but first we're gonna jump up and cover this taller compartment located conveniently right by your patio area for taller items such as skis, some types of bicycles that can have the front wheel removed or even golf clubs. Easy to access to close with the nylon strap that can be removed if you're tall enough to use just the door itself. But some great storage here. It elevates up and stays open on a gas strut. And then working our way down for the exterior entertainment center, This is now standard and features a 32 inch high definition television with remote and speakers. The beauty of it down below is that it actually stores out of the way so that you can still access this compartment. It also includes that prop rod to keep that compartment open. We'll break away and showcase how simple this is to store this 32 inch high definition television. It very simply drops down and slides back on a steel tray for secure secure travel and then down below you'll see additional storage that can be used as well as access and controls for the pure sine wave inverter that allows you to power household appliances directly off of the dual deep cycle group 31 RV batteries. You can see access for not only an additional 110 volt outlet off to the right, but also controls for the pure sine wave inverter off to the left. Continuing on with well-lit LED compartment lighting. That is the inverter charger battery disconnect switch so that when being placed in storage, you can parasitically ensure no draw on those batteries by using that disconnect. Down below, you'll see a dual entry with the powered entry steps. 
And then inside the step well is where you'll find access to the Ford Motor Company starting battery as well as the dual deep cycle Group 31 RV batteries. Here you'll see the side door that is cut out of that same Asdell composite side well to ensure a precise fit and ensuring no wind whip. Here you'll find exhausting for the low profile ducted furnace. 35,000 BTUs for heating not only the basement but the coach itself. Pass through storage for the 121 cubic feet of basement storage. Down below a convenient pet pal tie out that can be used for securing pets or for securing high end bicycles. Conveniently located right on your patio side. Again, with that light flowing pewter around the wheel wells, very easy to clean, very easy to cool the coach. Even with the upgraded cooling package with 27,000 BTUs of total air conditioning capacity. And then alongside the driver side and patio side, each side you'll find the side video camera monitoring system. Again, those can be used by dedicated input or they are articulated by the turn signal column. Here you can see the deeper, darker tint to the frameless windows. And then also this expansive 15 foot powered patio awning. And once you can adjust the pitch for the sun setting in a certain location or to minimize glare on your TV, it does then also include dedicated independent LED lighting to very safely and securely reach yourself back to your Vista or Sunstar when it is dark out. There you saw the speakers for the exterior entertainment system. And also an LED courtesy light right next to and adjacent to your entry door. And now as we work our way inside the Winnebago Vista and Sunstar 33K, we'll cover one sweeping shot of this floor plan and then we'll cover each of the main living areas in more detail. We've ordered this coach factory fresh in the town and country with light ultra fabrics and Salinas Oak cabinetry. The cabinetry of which is handcrafted in-house by Winnebago Industries to not only maximize interior storage using computer-aided design, but minimizing tolerances in fit and finish, which long-term can minimize squeaks and rattles compared to competing RV manufacturers that still have to go down to third-party suppliers, many of which in Elkhart, Indiana, that require you to purchase those cabinets and then fit them inside the floor plan. Whereas Winnebago can design the floor plan and design then the interior storage using computer aided design. You'll see the upgraded home theater seating option that we've optioned for. A large spacious inline kitchen or galley with an oversized residential refrigerator and freezer. The first of two baths with the half bath off to the left, the walk around king bed. And then a master bath to the rear with an oversized 36 by 36 inch branded Big shower from Winnebago Industries. A large set of drawer stacks as well as wardrobe cabinets. Up front, a large dual split pantry. And then forward of the kitchen or galley area, you'll see the benchmark dinette with high low table that can be used as an additional prep surface. Standing desk area or oversized gaming area. Overhead then the powered studio loft bed and up front the Ultra Fabrics Premier Leather front seats, each of which rotate to become integrated lounge chairs to the coach. An upgraded sheet of one piece vinyl bow floor, vinyl flooring running front to rear, including the master bath to the rear. You can literally Swiffer this coach out in a matter of seconds. This is the lighter ultra fabrics collection with the town and country soft goods collection paired up with the Salinas Oak cabinetry which shows rich grain, but then also contemporary hardware. As we work our way in the first portion of the full wall slide out, you'll see the oversized benchmark dinette. And what makes this a benchmark dinette is that there is storage underneath those that glide up then to provide access to that storage. A large dinette location here with integrated cup holders that very simply glides down on an air strut to provide the first of three dedicated sleeping surfaces. 
Here you'll see a 39-inch high-definition television located at eye level across from the home theater setup with storage on each side as well as the MCD shade system. Featuring the Blackout MCD True American Roller Shade System. These are not knockoff slow rise blinds like other manufacturers use. They are genuine MCD branded roller shades from MCD, an American company that revolutionized the RV industry in 2010. They're whisper quiet. You can adjust the speed at which they recess and also set a preset height if you'd like them to recess at a certain height each time. Here you'll see this coach also includes the quick port for adding additional satellite television, which we can do with our master RVTI trained technicians. Be sure to check out our connectivity and satellite broadcasts from our Litson RV Live archived live video, high definition interactive presentations in which we cover connectivity and satellite enhancements. The beauty of this dinette is that it does also include three safety belts with two safety belts then in the home theater and sofa seating on that side and two up front, you'll have a total of seven total safety belts. Inside this dinette with high-low table, you'll also see electricity and 12-volt USB power points. But again, very simple to glide down into a 42 by 73 inch sleeping surface on a gas strut. You don't have to break and pull it away from the wall like competing RV manufacturers. We'll transition this now into the high-low table that does include storage then underneath the dinette top itself. This can be used as a standing desk or workstation, additional meal prep space, or obviously a traditional dinette. But great storage is included underneath, along with integrated cup holders. Two forward-facing safety belts and one rear or aft-facing safety belt. So three inside this dinette area. A beautiful, rich, contemporary, full-style colored wallboard runs throughout the coach and even behind cabinetry. As opposed to competing RV manufacturers that still are trying to trip over pennies and nickels to seam in lesser quality materials in hidden areas, using one continuous sheet, it eliminates risk of splits or tears. This is Ultra Fabrics Primera Leather, so it's very easy to clean you can be fairly aggressive in how you clean it but it's also weather temperative meaning it's not so hot in the summer and not so cold during the winter there you can see the top tether for using this for a child seat you very simply would glide that table down into the sleeping position to use a car seat but again easy to clean with the same one piece upgraded bow floor vinyl flooring underneath the dinette very simple to clean Again, you can Swiffer this out in a matter of seconds. Working our way across from this dinette, because there is so much sleeping space already included in the coach, we've optioned this for the home theater upgrade. It still maintains two safety belts, but provides a home theater style experience opposite that 39 inch high definition television. A large side hung window for great fresh air ventilation, continuing on with the MCD manual blackout roller shades, LED lighting with recessed lighting throughout, and then also with the upgraded vinyl padded ceiling. You can see well-articulated switching for the overhead lighting. With a full bank of overhead Salinas oak cabinetry. The home theater seating then very simply glides out with the pull of each of the handles on each side. It includes 12 volt charging for your smartphones or tablets on each side. And then completely glides out for a home theater style experience. Using the pedal on each side, you very simply just pull that and it glides out. Here you'll see the smartphone charging with dual USB-A style charging outlets on each side of the home theater. You can see the attention to detail with the contrast and the stitching. Very simply gliding that paddle out then extends this for a home theater style experience.
but still maintaining sleeping capacity for six people with the king bed, the dinette, and then the overhead powered studio loft bed. There is storage then underneath the middle partition area. You'll see this also then drops down for integrated cup holders and an armrest for each side. Each of these home theater reclining options will recess nearly to 180 degrees. They could be used for sleeping, but will provide a slightly upward experience towards the headboard area. Standard is the traditional sofa bed, but with this being the upgrade of home theater seating, which has become a popular option in the RV industry, especially now that there are so many different options for sleeping. and then see the space behind in which the recliner will move back even further. If you'd like to see any type of a customized experience to this coach without physically being here, we do live high definition interactive presentations from the comfort of your own home or office on a daily basis with any of our factory trained consultants here at Litson RV. We can very simply bring in with a three-way discussion with a partner or spouse from home or office. Inside the step well, then you'll see the multiplex wiring system for complete coach control. Ties in nicely with the Winnebago connected coach that we'll cover here in a moment. Overhead, you'll see the first of dual 13,500 BTU high efficiency ducted air conditioning system with removable cleanable filters, but also chill grill technology so that if you return to the Vista or Sunstar, and didn't leave the air conditioning on, you can open up those vents to have the air dumped directly out of the air conditioners and bypassing a majority of the ductwork to rapidly cool the coach within a matter of minutes. Overhead, quick key grab and go access for a variety of things. And then the wiring access for satellite technology, as well as any type of a DVD, Blu-ray, home theater experience as well as controls for the local off-air high definition booster switch. You'll see the privacy blind for the entry door as well as the screen door and easy to access entry handle, a convenient compartment here in which you can store clothes, quickly grab and go right inside your step well without having to return to the rear of the coach, trounce through the coach and find that coat that you may need. Again, multiplex wiring that provides complete coach control from right inside the step well, including a master on off light switch, which is also located in the master bedroom for quickly retiring during the evening. Here you can extend and retract the awning as well as control the lighting for the courtesy light or the awning lights. Also controls for the lounge, kitchen or galley or hallway area. Down below here, you'll see a one touch on and off button for the compartment lights, as well as controlling the pitch that we referenced on that 15 foot powered patio awning with individual pitch motors on each the front and the aft or rear side of the awning. A 12 volt auxiliary battery disconnect switch is located to place the coach in storage. Behind this location, you'll see mechanical access for 12 volt push button style 12 volt breakers, as well as your electrical panel intentionally mounted right near the entry well so that in the event you do have a breaker that's popped you actually have natural lighting coming in from the step well area tremendous amount of kitchen or galley storage with full drawer stacks another pantry that can be located and used right here but there's also one to the left of the oversized refrigerator and freezer this including adjustable shelving, great storage here. Again, making use of computer aided design with this angled style hutch or kitchen pantry area, providing a tremendous amount of storage. All with adjustable shelving, but there's also a pantry then located just to the left of the refrigerator and freezer. Continuing on with 
multiplex switching for the lighting area, but then also for the sofa. Up top here, you'll see a thermostat sensor for the high efficiency ducted air conditioning system, as well as the Winnebago connected coach with all of your coach operation and gauges on one easy to access panel. The beauty of this is that it ties into the WineGuard Air 360 Plus with Gateway. So either providing internet through Wi-Fi boosting or through using your cellular carrier, it will provide diagnostic access and operation from your smartphone or tablet, but also being able to interface in the future with Winnebago for troubleshooting. Controls to start and stop the Cummins Own and Generator, Controls to program the automatic generator start system so that if you do lose power, it automatically kicks on the gen, or if your batteries get low when dry camping or RVing off the grid. Controls for the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system, as well as a programmable thermostat. Here you'll see lighting controls for each of the areas that are then color-coded when you touch that certain area, so very easy to navigate with another master on-off switch. The next button will allow you to control your slide outs, your awning, the overhead powered studio loft bed, as well as the automatic hydraulic leveling jacks. These can only be used with near field Bluetooth communication, but not far field if you're off site with your smartphone or tablet because they are mechanical and there's no way of knowing if there is anything that could be injured or harmed by using any of those motorized style components. So again, the awning, the slide out, the jacks, as well as the bed lift can only be used with near field Bluetooth proximity or being on that same Wi-Fi network, but locally. The overhead powered studio loft bed provides an additional sleeping surface at 50 by 80 inches and very simply glides down with the touch of one button. The beauty of it compared to competing manufacturers is you don't have to alter the front driver and passenger seat. It does include a ladder if needed, although most will just use the dinette off to the left. Netted storage on each side so that things don't jump out in transit. Additional heating, ventilation, and air conditioning outlets are included in the front area. Be sure to check that out with other competing RV manufacturers that don't invest in piping that into the front studio loft area. Wonderful LED lighting continue as well as 12 volt and electrical outlets up front for your smartphones, tablets, and additional gaming devices up front. But a very comfortable 50 by 80 inch overhead studio loft bed. This is the gateway for the WineGuard Air 360 Plus. Removing the shroud exposes the SIM card that can be used with the WineGuard data plan, which is actually underlying from AT&T, or you can request an unlimited data plan and mini SIM card from Verizon, AT&T, et cetera. Tie that into your existing account and have dedicated 24 seven internet access. Inside the 33K, great overhead storage and great overhead clearance with a six foot 10 inch ceiling height. And see how quickly that glides back up and then also includes a safety belt constraint for use in transit. Continuing on past the overhead powered studio loft bed back to the Winnebago connected coach, it'll include a digital owner's manual, a QR code that you can download additional resources. But again, long-term the thought is that Winnebago will be able to remote in when connected to internet for any type of troubleshooting. Also the opportunity to program your automatic generator start system in accordance with on and off no generator hours convenient for use during the national park systems. You can also dim that display to be completely opaque during the night. Inside the kitchen or galley area, great storage with solid surface countertops and great storage above and great storage below. True DuPont 
Corian high luster countertops are used as well as the backsplash. A full set of overhead Salinas oak cabinets are included overhead with contemporary hardware, as well as a convenient pull out sliding shelf here for easier access because this has an extension that comes out for the dual basin stainless steel sink. This particular window featuring a tip out jalousy or canopy style window with dual 110 volt outlets on both sides for convenient kitchen appliance use. Here you can see the 110 volt plug-in for the overhead microwave and convection oven. This is a factory installed upgrade that we've included on this 33K. This allows you to bake brown and roast just like a traditional oven, yet it frees up so much more storage. Be sure to check out our convection cooking classes in our video library on Litson.com, as well as an archived interactive high definition video presentation in which we invited a pair of chefs that were taking delivery of their factory fresh coaches here at Litson RV to walk us through convection cooking in their RV where you'll learn about the rule of 25. Inside the kitchen or galley area, again, Corian countertops with an undermount stainless steel sink with a contemporary single control kitchen faucet. Full drawer stacks are included and with all of the drawer stacks built by Winnebago Industries, these are full length glides. They're not cut short like competing manufacturers. They're also metal glides that will provide more durability long term compared to competing manufacturers that are still shoring up their drawer lengths to save pennies and nickels, but also still using plastic drawer glides. Underneath the sink area, of course, we haven't forgotten the location for the waste paper basket. This also includes currently some of the accessories that are provided for the coach, as well as another location for the winterization kit for the valves that you'll need to turn for the water heater bypass in the event that you do have to winterize the coach. A large dual basin stainless steel sink for easy maintenance, easy cleaning, a single control kitchen faucet with a pull out sink sprayer for easy maintenance, easy cleaning of dishes. There you can see the luster of the true branded DuPont Corian countertops. But yet even with that weight still maintaining over 4,200 pounds of occupants and cargo carrying capacity because of the upgraded 22,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating chassis. Here you'll see a three burner range top with an innovative glass cooktop cover that accordions back to serve as an easy to clean backsplash, but also maximize storage in what is already a tremendous amount of galley or kitchen countertop space. Then down below, you'll see the second LP oven the first oven being the overhead microwave and convection oven. With an ignition or piezo style ignition switch. Great storage inside this traditional LP oven. And then down below an oversized pot and pan style drawer. Again, a full length extension with metal drawer glides. with a positive lock latching system that then also ensures that they stay closed in transit. Just to the left then you'll see a residential style compressor driven oversized refrigerator and freezer. We'll first stop and cover the 12 volt powered ventilator exhaust fan that did include that sealed marine rain hood up top so this can be left open in transit or during rain. This is a 10 cubic foot residential refrigerator and freezer. The beauty of it being residential is that it is compressor driven so it can be used at higher altitudes and the coach doesn't have to be perfectly level when being used. But also it allows you to use this in transit through tunnels over bridges that otherwise may require you to turn your LP off. But again, great capacity with a 10 cubic foot compressor driven refrigerator and freezer. We alluded to this earlier though, just to the left is a large split pantry 
It is split so it can carry heavier goods. The top portions of which feature the Winnebago branded pantry baskets that can be pulled out and used to compartmentalize and organize canned goods. But again, it is split so it can carry heavier goods. As we work our way back away then from the kitchen or galley area, you'll see the first of two different bathrooms, the first being the half bath. A full master bath then is included to the rear of the walk around king bed. Inside this half bath, you'll see a residential height style toilet with an elongated bowl. Of course, we haven't forgotten the location for the second waste paper basket, as well as the medicine or linen closet storage off to the left. Overhead, another 12 volt powered ventilator fan with again, a sealed marine rain hood. So this can be used in transit or during rainfall. Continuing on with the same LED lighting and rich full style colored wallboard, not seeming in or using lesser expensive materials in the bath and bedroom areas like other RV manufacturers. A nice oversized linen closet storage just above the bath area. This could be used for tissue or other storage for bathroom necessities. Then a nice medicine cabinet just to the left of the half bath sink with of course a 110 volt outlet that can be used for bathroom lavatory appliances. Of course, throughout all Winnebago bathrooms, all of the accessories that you'll need are provided. They don't force you to go out and purchase them like other RV manufacturers, such as towel bars, towel rings, rope hooks, or tissue holders. There you can see the mirrored area for the half bath, as well as several different hooks for towels and for robes. A beautiful waterfall style undermount sink is included underneath the thermoform countertop with a single control lavatory faucet and then great storage underneath. Again, a residential height elongated bowl with a pull-out sink sprayer for easy maintenance and easy cleaning. You can see a dual hinge door allows that door to stay open for privacy if you're using this as a changing area. But a great half bath allows for efficiency to get ready in the morning, but also provides complete access in transit when the slide out is in. As we work our way into the master bedroom, you'll see a walk around king bed with great storage overhead, a contemporary headboard and LED lighting continuing along with the MCD roller shade system. Again, the front windshield is powered. The rest of these are manual, but great storage overhead as well as a master light on off switch overhead the second of the 213.5 BTU high efficiency ducted air conditioning units, continuing on with the removable cleanable cold air intake filters, as well as the chill grill technology to rapidly dump cold air in the event that you returned and didn't have the air conditioning system on, you can rapidly cool the coach. Great overhead storage, but then a true walk around 72 by 75 inch king bed with nightstands on each side with 110 volt outlets and USB charging. Convenient use for CPAP or BPAP machines off of the 110 volt outlets, but then also the power points for smartphones and tablets. Here you can see the dual 110 volt outlet, but then also the dual USB A outlets. A nice flip up extension then that can be used for a CPAP or BPAP machine on each side of the bed, whether you sleep on the forward or the rear or aft position of the bed. Great fresh air ventilation with lighting for each of the side windows that are in this opposing slide out opposite the full wall slide out. Then towards the aft or rear, again, 110 volt outlets and USB-A 
charge points with the MCD shade system and then yet again another flip up extension that can be used for a CPAP or BPAP machine. So again, a true 72 by 75 inch walk around king bed. It includes the runner and all of the accessories that you see here. But then the beauty of this is you can elevate the base up and it stays up on a gas strut in which currently the ladder is stored. You could use this for additional bedding, additional linen closet storage. And then it very simply glides down on that gas strut. Opposite this area then, six complete chest of drawer areas and wardrobe closet on each side with a great vanity area with a 110 volt outlet. And then also inside the bedroom is a 32 inch high definition television. This is a factory installed upgrade for the high definition television, which we have included on this particular 33K. Great wardrobe closet storage then on each side with hanging rod storage. And you can see how that same wall board transitions all the way through that full wall slide out to eliminate any risk of splits, but also providing that same quality wallboard. Compared to competing manufacturers that are still seeming in less quality materials in hidden areas such as this. Again, a 32 inch high definition television that then also as you pull away, will elevate up in which you can place another satellite receiver, a Blu-ray or DVD player. If you're partial to a Fire Stick or a Roku Stick, you can use that here because it does include HDMI cabling directly to that high definition television and then includes power for the stick just above. In this vanity area, then 110 volt outlet and then continuing on with additional drawer stacks all of which are full length extensions with metal drawer glides. Same positive lock latching, so it's not gonna jump out in transit. And then towards the rear or aft area, yet again, another wardrobe closet. This one also including the storage locations for the cocktail table, removable pedestal table, that can be used and is currently being shown in between the driver and passenger seat inside the cockpit for the Vista and Sunstar. You can see a full length mirror right towards the rear wall of the master suite. And a true hardwood pocket door provides privacy it locks into place for transit, but provides great privacy for the master bath. Inside the master bath is a oversized 36 by 36 inch shower with a textured glass door. Same waterfall style sink that is mounted up underneath the Thermoform countertops, and then yet again overhead, another 12 volt power ventilator fan with that same sealed marine RV hood so that you can use in transit or during rainfall. Continuing on with the rich vinyl padded ceiling and the overhead skylight that provides beautiful indirect lighting. Overhead, this 36 by 36 inch branded by Winnebago big shower. It also includes a single one piece pan and a single one piece surround for easy maintenance and easy cleaning. Overhead inside the bath then you'll see a flexible handheld shower head that allows you to start and stop the water both on the head as well as on the faucet to conserve water when RVing off the grid, dry camping or boondocking. The easy access and an oversized three foot by three foot shower.
Inside the master bath then you also have a 110 volt outlet off to the left for bathroom lavatory appliances, a mirrored area and then also an oversized medicine cabinet. Can also be used for linen or other types of storage for bathroom necessities. But a large one piece thermoform countertop running all the way from the driver's side to the passenger side. This also includes the deeper, darker tint of the frameless windows, but also your emergency exit window. Decorative window valances and a residential style height toilet with a modified elongated bowl with a foot pedal flush, just like the half bath with a pull out sink sprayer for easy maintenance and easy cleaning. Of course, we haven't forgotten the location for the second waste paper basket inside the master full bath. The same single lavatory faucet, single control. There you can see the ductwork to keep that master bath nice and toasty, especially down at the floor level in colder camping climates. You can see access down below then with the thumb hole access port. But literally that master bath is three feet in depth and eight and a half feet in length. Here you'll see a wall-mounted light switch as well as 12 volt on-demand water pump switch so that if you did forget to turn the water pump on, if you're RVing off the grid dry camping, after using the facilities, you can still clean your hands. And again, another pocket door provides privacy access for the master bedroom from the front living area with a two-stage pocket-style door with a fastener secure strap during transit. And now as we work our way back up towards the front, keep in mind again, a six foot, 10 inch interior ceiling height. The larger Vista and Sunstar floor plans, including that taller height at 12 feet, four inches, because it is dropped also atop the 22,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating chassis so increasing cargo carrying capacity as well, including that larger panoramic one-piece windshield, part of Winnebago's patented super steel construction up in front, the cab design, that providing a cab area with a sturdy steel framework. Again, the seats and safety belts are mounted to steel, the windshield being installed with automotive style urethane for added durability, strength, and safety. All of those appliances and cabinets are mounted to the same steel infrastructure in the sidewalls. Up front, also then a steel firewall protecting the engine from passenger compartments. Light duty, user-friendly automotive style features up front inside the cab, including three-point safety belts. A Versa driver seat swivels easily around that steering wheel with dual position armrest, fixed lumbar support, and multi-adjustable slide recline and swivel. Up front then the Ford Steering wheel includes tilt and telescoping capabilities. An array of cup holders, two in the middle, and then also one on each side of the driver, as well as the passenger. With that forward steering wheel, you'll see controls for the digital instrumentation cluster off to the left, as well as controls for that cruise control. You'll see the ability to then include Navigation of user settings for the adaptive cruise control, distance alert with distance indication, the lane keep assist, pre-collision assist with active braking support, electronic stability control and traction control. You'll also see the gear shift indicator that we talked about in the advanced technology driver confidence package when used in tow haul mode, along with grade braking capabilities. Here you see controls for the powered mirrors with defrost, controls for the manual select shift transmission. And then inside the Sony infotainment package up front, you'll see three dedicated security cameras with each of the side video cameras. 
but also the ability to listen to high definition FM radio, Sirius XM satellite radio, Bluetooth connectivity, bringing in any type of media drive from USB, but also Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. There you can see the colored rear view camera monitoring system. This is set in a beautiful instrument panel applique setup. Down below then you have full heating, ventilation, and air conditioning controls, an array of smartphone and tablet chargers with 12 volt as well as USB-A style outputs. Two additional charge points then underneath the automatic hydraulic leveling system. Off to the right then is an innovative radio power switch so that you can use the power off the chassis battery in transit, but when you reach your destination, you can still use Sirius XM satellite radio as well as Android Auto and Apple CarPlay directly off of the 12 volt system that is equipped inside the house side of the power controls. It also then includes an auxiliary battery boost switch so that in the event your chassis battery does get low, you can actually boost and jump start the Vista off of the house batteries. Off to the right, some great conveniences for the passenger, including the dash workstation that includes then a USB and 12 volt power point as well. Again, keeping in mind that the oversized panoramic one piece windshield then includes the powered MCD shade system that can be used as a sun visor, which is a great feature when the sun sets, if you're traveling solo or if a passenger is asleep. You don't have to pull over or reach over to grab that sun visor. It is powered. It will stop at about one third of the way down, but then can drop all the way down to the dash for complete privacy during the evening, but also a great thermal break. Here you'll see the passenger seat, which includes seat swiveling, dual position armrest, fixed lumbar support, and also a multi-adjustable slide and recline. There you can see the cocktail table or removable pedestal table in between the two. And so as we swivel around, we'll cover one last sweeping shot, but also bring the slide outs in so that you can see the ease of access to navigating the coach in transit when that full wall slide out is in. You'll see ease of access to the rear, but also then access to the half bath. Of course, you can use the master bath, but you would have to then climb over that king bed because it does butt up right against the opposing slide out from the full wall slide out from the king bed slide out, but it is still accessible. But without navigating that, you can still access the half bath. When that slide out is in, you can still open and close the refrigerator and freezer, gain access to the split pantry. So a lot of flexibility, even when that slide out is in in transit, or heaven forbid if you're in inclement weather, or if you're just parking overnight, dry camping, or off-grid use at a Cracker Barrel, Walmart, city rest stop, you can still use a majority of the coach when the slide outs are in. And so as we work our way back up front, again, we'll swivel around and take one last sweeping shot as I wanna take this opportunity to thank you for visiting Litson RV and for the opportunity to unveil the all new Winnebago Vista and its twin, the Sunstar 33K, the most nimble, compact bath and one half class A gas coach in the RV industry with a full wall slide out and king bed all set atop the new Ford F53 chassis with advanced technology and the driver confidence package. And it's available here at Litson RV, America's closest dealer to Winnebago Industries. We're located only one mile north of the Winnebago Motorhome Factory, based right here in Forest City, Iowa, and recently named by the manufacturer of Winnebago Industries as the North American top dealer for sales volume across all of the motorized coach divisions of Winnebago Motorhomes, based right here in Forest City, Iowa, but reaching out across all of North America for that top sales volume award each year consistently since 2015. 
However, most importantly, be the first to break in and protect your new Ford powertrain investment in accordance with the way Ford Motor Company outlines inside their owner's manual in which they recommend no towing during the first thousand miles, avoiding driving too quickly during the first thousand miles, and varying your speeds frequently to seat those cylinders in that 7.3 liter free breathing V8 engine, as opposed to the way a delivery driver may and do tow their own vehicle out to your local dealership, be the first to protect and break in that new powertrain, sleep that first night in your king bed, and eat your first meal in your Benchmark Dinette with high-low table available here at Litson RV. Thank you for visiting Litson RV here in Forest City, Iowa, the home of the Winnebago Motorhome Factory. Here are some great points from our team at Litson RV unrelated to price, why you should experience the best here at Litson RV. New motorhomes from Litson RV have no delivery miles on them. We do not use delivery services like other dealers in which drivers live in the RV during transportation of, or tow their own personal vehicle during the crucial engine break-in period. There are no additional fees when purchasing an RV in the state of Iowa. You will always pay the tax, title, and license in the state in which you register your RV. However, we do help in assisting titling your RV in your home state. We help people day in and day out from all over the United States and Canada with titling their motorhome. At Litson RV, we have cost savings compared to other RV dealers. This allows us to provide you with low, no hassle pricing. We provide a complimentary thorough walk around of your RV with any RV purchase at the time of delivery. This orientation may be done in person or virtually if you prefer. This orientation is dedicated one-on-one -on -one time with a Litson RV Winnebago product expert and will take as much time as needed so that you can understand every function, switch, maintenance, and warranty items of your RV. Many dealers charge a significant sum to provide this service. Here at Litson RV, we want to make your stay with us as comfortable as possible. With our newly expanded campground, we provide our guests the opportunity to stay on our lot while enjoying free access to Wi-Fi, filtered fresh water, and electrical hookups. This is available to guests taking delivery of their new RV or just passing through for a service appointment. We have two state-of-the-art guest lounge areas for your comfort where you can grab a cup of coffee and relax while enjoying your favorite show or use our laptop tables in our comfortable seating areas. And your pets are welcome to join you in the guest lounge and throughout the Litson RV dealership. We work with several different national lenders in order to secure you the most competitive rate and terms. We also offer insurance from several different insurance carriers such as Progressive and Nationwide. Purchase and service your RV and experience the best here at Litson RV, the nation's closest dealer to the Winnebago Motorhome Factory here in Forest City, Iowa. We look forward to providing you best of class experience for your parts, service and sales needs.